If you are wanting to know how to stuff a low amount of cash and still be effective, then this is the video for you. Keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine, AKA Budget Treasures. And here on my channel, I talk about all things finance with the emphasis on budgeting, saving money, and paying off debt. And like I stated um, in today's video, we are gonna be talking all about stuffing low cash. So I did a video uh, not too long ago where um, I talked about stuffing low amounts and a lot of people did chime in on that video specifically and stated that they felt as though they were unable to stuff large amount. They were unable to use cash because they weren't stuffing large amounts of cash. And so um, I am a channel that does not stuff large amounts of cash at this moment. Um, however, my strategy is very, very effective still. And those who stuff no cash, their strategy is effective. And those who stuff lots of cash, their strategy is um, effective as well. Uh, but we're all in different places and spaces in life. And so I just want to share with you how you can do it and be successful at it and still be successful completely. So um, in today's video, I'm going to be stuffing a total of $440. And then I am going to be uh, doing a, um, I'm going to be emptying one of my envelopes. Okay. So this is four. Let me go over to it. I'm gonna be stuffing my uh, August 16th paycheck, or not the whole thing, but some things, and then we're gonna go over what it is that I am gonna be stuffing. Primarily at the moment, I am only stuffing minimal envelopes. And on a regular basis, I am stuffing my grocery envelope, my toiletries envelope, and my household envelope. And the reason why I am stuffing these three consistently is because these are the areas where I am prone to overspend in. And I find that most effective that I am using cash and once the money is gone, it's gone. Or if I really, really need it, then you know I'm subconsciously or I'm consciously excuse me making that decision to overspend in that area but of course the point of using cash is to make sure that you don't go you don't overspend and dip into other monies that you may have and so that's a way that I find it to be most effective for me another thing that's most effective for me is saving my sinking funds in cash I just find it to just work like it's literally chef's kiss for me and so so I'm going to be unstuffing one of my sinking funds and then saving money in, um, I guess you can call these saving challenges sinking funds as well. I'm sinking money into a savings challenge fund. And so I find saving cash for whatever is most effective for me and not having cash sit in an account unless that count that account is specifically for something and it's off on the side by itself it's not really being touched or anything like that that's when i find it most effective but i will tell you if you are trying to save money in an account that you are actively using for transactions rather it's deposit well not rather but if you are like paying bills out of that account or if you're just doing a lot of back and forth even in a savings account it's just not effective that I've seen personally and so I will tell you if you're trying to save money and even if it's twenty dollars and you're like I'm just gonna keep the money in the bank I would encourage you to take that money out and just set that money aside every two weeks or whatever your cadence is, because that's when you will start to see the money grow. 
okay so let's get to stuffing I am using the cash envelope breakdown sheet and this is from the budget mom if you just type in the budget mom you should be able to find all of her products and um, this one in particular is the one that I am currently using I am NOT going to be taking out my cash tray for this stuffing because I just don't feel like it <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm going to get back on it. I promise. Okay, so this is $440. So I have one, 220. Excuse me. Sorry. Once again, they don't put my bills facing the same way. I don't know. As a banker, that would just annoy me. Like, OCD. Okay, so we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So $440. I'm going the old school way. Who remembers the old school way when we didn't have all these fancy cash trays and all of that stuff? And we just set the money out like this. Who remembers that? where my OG cash people at <laughs> so um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys remember that I gotta get my likes up y'all my, my hustle game gotta be strong <laughs> okay so first I am going to be stuffing groceries and that is in my food envelope and also let me tell you when it comes to cash stuffing having a wallet that you're able to carry um, where you can put your everyday expenses in is really 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 helpful so if you can I got this wallet from so crafty Sana, and I would really um, encourage that you check that out I, this is a small wallet uh, in the winter or fall and winter months I will be moving into my larger wallet um, but yeah so let's get to stuffing all right so first for groceries i am going to stuff 150 dollars and it i'm going to be stuffing 720s and a 10 dollar bill Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, twenty, forty, fifty. So one hundred and fifty dollars in food. Next is toiletries, and toiletries is going to receive forty dollars, and it's two twenties. I know it says miscellaneous, but it's my toiletries envelope. And then the next one is home household. And household is going to get $75 this time. So it's a 50, a 20. Whoops, I done messed up. Get back right there. 50, 20, and 5. So $50, $75 in home. And then next, oh, well, that's basically it for my daily wallet. And now what's left is in my sinking funds. So I am first working with, let me try to find my purple. I am working with, or I'm stuffing, sorry, $60. For the 52 week savings, 60, which is a 50 and a 10. And this is where I was talking about saving money in cash because it just really helps to build better. Next is the 3K savings. And this one is a 60 
dollar circle and a $55 circle. And that is $115. And I'm going to be putting that in my August envelope. And this is a total of one, two, twenty, forty. $245 saved in the month of August. Now, I don't have any more. Well, actually, for the $3,000 savings challenge, I am to choose a circle every week and save the amount in color. So I just pick two circles per uh, paycheck because I'm paid twice. So for this month, since it's an overflow month, I will have saved six circles. So I'm going to pick two circles from, for, from next week's um, paycheck. And then here, I don't have anything um, else to save for August, but there is an extra column here. So I'll probably just be saving $75. And instead of starting you know, early here in September, I mean, who knows? I might just wipe out September. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see um, from that extra paycheck. <laughs> so next I am going to be unstuffing my cash. I'm sorry. I'm going to be unstuffing. Well, yeah, my cash from my car registration, which is $289 and it's due in September. I want to make sure that I do have enough money here so that I can go ahead and get my tags for the new year. So let me count to make sure I have the $289 here. I don't, I have $248. So I need some more money. I wish I would have counted this before I actually went to the bank. So I need $41. So I am going to go get the $41 out of the bank and then I am gonna go get my car registration, um, get my tags, and well, unless I just, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I can take car maintenance. I do need to go get my car maintenance. That's, oh, pff, ain't much in here, good Lord. So with there not being much in there, I might as well just take it. I don't think I have any money anywhere else in here. I ain't got nothing in here. I might as well put it in here. So what is this? 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is $40. So that's what, and then I'm sure I got a dollar somewhere. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. Now I have all the money. So I'm going to go get my car registration Go, well, yeah, my tags and renew everything and I'll be done here. I'm gonna put this in my, this is a lot of money to care. I mean, well, a lot of bills, not, it's not a lot of money, it's a lot of bills. And this is gonna make my wallet fat. So, I'm gonna just put it back in here. And when I go to the DMV, I'm just going to take the entire envelope. All these $1 bills. Good Lord. Oh, gosh. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. 
all right guys so that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for hanging out with me um i will definitely keep you guys updated on any changes that my cash envelopes will take i doubt that it will be any changes because i don't stuff a lot as it is and i will continue to just stuff my daily envelopes pretty much so like i said if you do not have a lot of money to stuff don't worry the stuff that you can and you can definitely continue to make huge impacts in your budget and your financial goals but i will see you besties in the next video go be great peace out